Hey guys, Allison Chastain, President of Diamond here. I'm sitting outside because it's the only place I can get away from screaming children and husband that is watching golf. So um, anyway, I it's kind of bright out here, so I apologize, but um, hopefully you can um, still hear me okay. Uh, so I wanted to make a video quickly about um, just how I sign distributors and I'm sure people go about it all different kinds of ways. Um, but for me, um, and I just think that any business that you own uh, is it's based off of um, relationships. You know, people are going to choose you to work with. You know, they're not necessarily going to choose the business, but if they like you, then they're going to choose you, and they're going to choose um, the way that you go about it because they like. That's why they're choosing you is because they like the way you go about working your business. So, that being said, um, I like to build relationships with people. I love people. Um, if you're in this business and you don't love people, you're going to either need to change that or you're going to need to probably just work your business straight online and never talk to anybody <laughs> um, because you really need to love people and really want to truly help them and, um, and care about like their future to do this business well. So when I meet people, um, I'm just genuine. I don't, I don't immediately um, say, oh, what do you do? Oh, I do this. I do this. You know, I'm, I'm, I just start to talk to them about their kids or whatever is going on and um, I really try to just build a rapport with them. Now, if it's someone I'm meeting like in a doctor's office or somewhere where I only have like a few minutes of time to talk to them and I may not ever see them again, um, I will bring up my business eventually, but I mean, I don't start off with that. I start off with other things, you know, like, oh, how old are your kids or, you know, blah, blah, blah. And eventually it might come, they might say something like, yeah, I had this baby and I got to get rid of this pudge or something. And I'm like, oh my gosh, have you ever heard of it works? And I'm very casual about how I talk to people and I don't want to come off too uh, pushy or, or desperate because um, I think when you are pushy, it kind of comes off desperate. And I think that people w run away from that. I know I don't like that. I don't like when people are pushy. And um, for me, it's um, I, I want people on the team on my team who want to be on my team. I don't want to force them into it because then it's I'm going to be dragging them the whole way. I don't want people who really want to do this. So, um, you know, you've got to find people who are motivated to do it to, to, to build a successful business. But some people have good intentions and then, of course, don't follow through with those. Um, but so anyway, my point is um, be kind and be relational and just build relationships with people. Don't be pushy. Um, you know, a perfect example, you know, one of my um, sweet neighbor friends, I just love her to death, Jody. Um, we built a relationship for probably like over a year um, until she was interested in the products. But she was watching my posts on Facebook and she was thinking about it. Um, and eventually she just said, I don't, I like how you're not pushy and um, I like your approach to your business and it sounds like a cool thing. Everybody wants to be healthy. Everybody wants to be skinny. Sign me up. Um, but it, it, I never went to her about it at all. And a lot of times, you know, it is good to just ask and be like, hey, you want to join this? But I didn't even know she was stalking my Facebook. <laughs> so, um, but, but she was and maybe not stalking, but I didn't even know she was watching and noticing, but people are and people do. So. That being said, make sure that you're always posting something positive on Facebook. Never do a negative post or um, something that could turn someone away or feel awkward around you or whatever. Um, so um, be relational, be positive, um, don't be pushy, um, love people. Um, also be careful about um, making this uh, just trying to rescue everyone. And of course this is a rescue and we totally believe it's a hope and a rescue for people. Um, but sometimes people are offering uh, incentives to get them to sign up because they want it for them so bad. But if they can't even get their money together for a kit, they're probably not going to, to do anything else either. So, um, and be careful about that too because it's against compliance to offer incentives to people. Um, don't buy someone's kit for them. Um, I've learned that the hard way in another business. I did that a few times and never got paid back. Um, and, uh, you know, it's just one of those things where you might believe in them so much and want it for them so badly, but you're in, you're going to end up bitter about it if you do that. So make sure that you allow them to work for their kit. I mean, they can pre-sell their wraps, you know, so let them do their own, um, you know, legwork for that. Um, but anyway, be kind, be relational, don't be pushy, um, build relationships and, you know, especially the people who, um, here's another good example. So we started karate about two months ago, um, me and my kids. I've been with the same class of this, these awesome homeschool moms and um, gotten to know them over the last two months and um, I always wear my shirt 
always. Um, but I never said anything. I never once blitzed them. I just would talk to them and get to know them. I knew I was going to see them every week. So that was a different situation than someone I might not ever see again. Um, so finally, this last Wednesday, after two months, one of them goes, hey, what's at works? And so I was able to share with them and I gave out my card to like all of them because of that one person asking me, what is it work? So just like I said, be relational, don't be pushy and just, you know, try to build relationships with people. That means you have to get out of the house. You have to go do stuff. So, I mean, I signed my kids up for karate, not with intentions of hopefully meeting someone to sign them, but that's may what happened, maybe what happened. Um, you know, I'm in a life group with some really awesome people. My intentions weren't to be in a life group so that they can sign up with me, but some of them have. And it's not because um, I was pushy. It's because they just watched and you, and most of them, I think it took about a year until they finally were like, hey, okay, I think I want to do this. Um, but again, I never was pushy with them. Um, I just told them what I did. You know, of course it comes up when you're doing life with people. <laughs> so, um, so always have the good intentions that you just love people and you want to meet them. And eventually they're going to go, Hey, what is this at work thing that you're always wearing? Or, you know, what's, you know, your purse, you know, has it works on it, your car, you know, they see all that stuff, but I never really said anything, but because I'm a walking advertisement, people will ask you. So I really hope this helps you a little bit, but so be the brand, you know, but don't be pushy, you know, let them come to you. We have something that everybody wants and they're going to get it from somebody. It may as well be you. So be that person that someone wants to come to be the person that is positive and uplifting and encouraging and kind and thoughtful and caring and I better not see my team poaching either. That is another thing that is just a whole nother for another time. <laughs> I'll do another video on that. So anyways, I hope this helps you guys to just kind of see how I sign distributors. I don't sign a billion distributors a month like some people do. Um, but that's because I really get to know most of the people I sign. So um, anyway, hope this helps. Later.